All right, let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about creating a serverless function or a standalone function in Zoho CRM. So if you're not familiar with what this is, it's basically an AWS Lambda function, meaning you can send a GET request to it um, from any application, and you'll be able to run all of your logic right in your CRM. It's super, super convenient. Highly recommend it. Before this, I was just using I was just calling um, ADS Lambda functions from, from my app and paying for those every time they ran when I was already paying for the Zoho CRM subscription. So this all comes with it. So I'd highly recommend taking advantage of it. So as you can see, I'm right in my Zoho CRM. I'm just gonna come over here to setup. Then you're gonna come down here to developer space and then you're gonna create a function, okay? Just know functions are completely different than actions. You kinda wanna know the difference so functions, um, you're able to call outside your project. Actions, they're they're more for running inside your CRM. So having like an account, a change in the account, or a change in a deal, or something like that, then that would automate your action to run. So functions are quite a bit different. But I'm going to come over here and create a new function. So we're going to call this test function zero one. All right. So this is going to be our test function, and this. The difference between function name and display name is your display name is what's shown here. As you see, I have a test function here. Um, your test function name is going to be um, inside your function. So this all has to be, you know, one string. Typically what you use with any of your different languages, such as like Node.js, Python, you're going to want it to be like one word, no spaces. Here, you can make it look pretty. And then you can describe it. This is to test standalone functionality okay and that's going to be displayed under your description so it's not that confusing now let's say I have 500 um, 500 schedules right there then that would make a big difference okay um, if you're wondering what MMH stands for it's movie Monday holidays okay completely different thing anyways coming down here um, we're gonna go ahead and click on standalone you do a, a bunch of different stuff most of it runs the same way of course you're not going to want to do a button but um, you're going to do a standalone function here okay and then let's just do something really simple let's just return hello world whenever i call this okay so something super easy you could save and execute it Oh, what? I get Hello World back? That's crazy. No, just kidding. All right, so you're going to go ahead and save that. Then you're going to come down here and click on Settings, REST API, and then you're just going to enable the different modes, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use the API key. Okay, go ahead and save that. For this example, I'm just going to go to Zoho Creator, but again, you could use this from any application. Um, that you need. Zoho Creator is a little bit nice to use because when running functions in Zoho Creator, you only get 5,000 statement lines to run um, at a time. This is a little bit of a way around that, so you can run quite a bit more. Um, I had to do this with a couple different projects, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and say this is a test, um, test hello world. Good spell. And then you can select your different language in Zoho Creator, but we're not going to get into that now. I'm just going to keep it with the lose. Okay, and you can have a return type, but again, this is Zoho Creator. We're not going to get into that. You got to add your arguments. I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so I'm just going to create a function. And all you're going to do here is Zoho Creator makes it really easy. Um, and if you don't know invoke URL, this is a good opportunity to learn. But again, if you're using your application, just your normal syntax would do. So I'm just going to put the variable, put the URL string, and that's going to need to be in a string format for deluge, whatever the syntax is like for your respective language, just do that. And then get, I didn't require any parameters. You don't need a connection. It's that easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert that. I need to put a semicolon, and we're just going to print the response so we can see what that looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that, make sure there's no syntax errors, the next view. Look at that. It's a standalone function you could use absolutely anywhere. It's free with your Zoho CRM subscription. You could do thousands of calls. It works perfectly. All right. 
but that's pretty easy. Let's get a little bit more complicated so you can see how maybe adding a parameter works. Okay, so I'm going to open back up my test function, edit that function, and let's say we're wanting to, instead of returning hello world, return two integers. So for that, we're going to need to add some arguments. So you can see here I've already pre-added arguments. And if you're asking yourself, how can I, you know, add an argument as a list? How can I add an argument as a, um, a map? Um, or in different terms, how can you add an array or an object here? Okay, all you have to do is um, stringify it, and then you could add it as a string here, and that works really well. But just for this example only, I'm just going to show you how it works with two integers, okay? So everything works the same. I'm just going to save that. Okay, and then I'm going to the REST API, copy this one, okay, go back, just exchange the URL. Um, actually, let's just create a whole new invoke URL just to really bring that home. Um, so again, I'm just, it's just going to be stored in a response. The URL is just going to be stored in a string, super simple. It's just going to be another get request. Your parameters are going to be in an object, or if you're using deluge, it's called a map. And then I just named this integer one. Let's say this is four, integer two, and let's say that is seven. Okay. So the response we're looking for would be 11. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert that. Again, no headers needed, no connection needed. You really just need that URL string. You're going to store it in the response. I'm going to print the response. Okay, so I'm going to save it, make sure there's no syntax errors, and then execute. And we get 11. Okay, that's perfect. And that is exactly how Zoho standalone functions work. That's why they're so amazing. Um, highly, highly recommend, um, highly recommend them. Um, a good, the way they log too is you could do like failures. And you can display those here. If you're using a different logging system, that's going to be different for every language. But let me show you one cool thing about using Zoho Creator with Zoho standalone functions is I could just let's just, instead of returning hello world, let's print it just to show you how that works. Okay. So I'm here. I'm just printing hello world and returning integer one and integer two. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Then I'm going to go back. Nothing's changed here. I'm calling the exact same function, passing the exact same parameters. But look what happens here. Okay, you're getting the same output as 11. But now look, we're also getting a user message saying a hello world. So you could do your different logging functions. You could pass in parameters. You can call this from wherever. Um, there are usage limits. Um, and that's going to be right here in your APIs. Okay. Don't take too much into this because I am just on a free trial just for these examples. So you can see how often you're called, where you're calling from. These are just, um, your different location, like your different, um, IP addresses um, that you're using, the pattern you're calling them with, from what module. Okay. Um, and yeah, you can see how much usage you have left. See, I still have, I've totally consumed 100 out of the 60,000 credits I have. Okay, so it's going to be a long time before I use all this. And that is daily. <laughs> so super, super nice. Again, I would just highly recommend looking, checking these out. Again, this is called Zoho Standalone Functions. If you don't know where to get it, I'll go there one more time. So say you're in the CRM. You come here, home, setup, functions. You create your function, yada, yada, yada. REST API. And then you just cop, plug and chug, baby, plug and chug. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Good luck. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.